Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. So friends, on this video, we'll see how we can embed a video on a SharePoint page. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and for today's video demonstration, I have created one brand new site with the name of video. So let me open the site in a new tab. So on this video, my goal is to, you know, uh, to embed a video on the home page of this SharePoint site. And I want my users when they navigate to the site, which is the name of the video of the site. So uh, when they navigate to the site, basically they will be, they should be able to see the videos on the home page. Like once they will scroll the home page, they should be able to see the videos on uh, this particular page. So let's see how we can do that. So I have one document library. Uh, this is a default document library. Let me open it in the new tab. And here you can see in this document library, I have uploaded few videos as well as there are few images as well and some documents. So I want to embed these videos on the home page of my site video. So for embedding the video on the home page of the SharePoint site, we will just simply edit this page. We will leave this, you know, the hero web part. And just below that, I will just simply, you know, select this uh, web part and I will remove this. Now I will click on this plus to add the web part. So after clicking on plus, I will simply type it here video. And here you will see the web part with the name of file and media. We will select it. Okay. Now it will open this uh, recent documents. If you have multiple document library, you can click on site. Here you will see. If you have multiple document library, you can select them from here. Now I will select the document and I will select the video and I will click on select. Okay. So once your video will be selected, you can edit the web part. And from here you can, if you later, you want to replace uh, another video, you can just cl simply click on change file. If not, then you can click on close and we can republish the page. So once you will republish the page, uh, now when the user will be navigating to, you know, this particular site on the home page of the site, they will be able to see this video. You can see I am able to play this video. So user will be able to play this video. Now, uh, this was specifically when you want to embed a single video. Now, what if, if you want to embed, you know, multiple videos on the same SharePoint page. So for that, again, we'll click on edit. I will click on add and here we will add the web part called highlighted content web part. So this is the web part which we will use to embed multiple videos on a single web part. So we'll select this web part. And now you can click on edit this web part. If you have any custom query, you can select it. Now we have to select the source like uh, the video which you want to show on the web part is on the this site only or a document library on the site, uh, this site collection, the page library on the site and select site. You can select multiple sites to embed the video on this web part. So uh, we'll select a document library on the site. So once you will select it, you can see all the videos and documents which are, you know, stored on the document library. We can see on the web part. You can select the document library. If you have multiple document library, you can select it from here. My videos are saved on documents default library not document type this is the important thing because uh, my document library contains uh, video images as well as the other documents so you can click on this drop down menu you can select the file type so i will go with the video so it will now only you know show me the videos which are there inside my document library you can again filter out these videos based on the filter like if i want to you know filter out this video by the name of created by modified name you can select from here and then you can enter search the word over here and you can similarly perform the sorting as well of this video then all the way to bottom there is option of layouts like you want to see them in the grid view list view you know the carousel then we have the compact and then the film strip so we'll select the grid and you can if you have multiple videos like uh, 20 30 40 you can, you know, enter it over here, like how many videos you want items you want to see on this web part. Now 
once you will select all these settings you can just simply click on republish so after republishing if user want to embed a single video you can use five media and files web part and if you want to show multiple videos you can you know use the highlight content web part so friends that's how we can embed a video on a sharepoint page that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video